So today we're gonna to take a bunch of chicken thighs, we're gonna marinate them differently, we're gonna season them differently, and we're gonna cook them the same way on the Weber, cherry wood on charcoal. We're gonna give it some smoke, we're gonna taste it at the end and see which one is better. So Sassy had an idea to use some garlic salt, some ranch seasoning, and plain Greek white yogurt to marinate her three chicken thighs in a Ziploc bag. And then the other three chicken thighs we marinated with orange juice. Now they both got Ziplocked. They both got put into the refrigerator for about six hours. Now you can do this overnight. It's up to you. So once they got done marinating for a while, we went ahead and fired up that Weber kettle charcoal grill. I'm using ridge charcoal and some cherry wood chunks that I've sliced up further to give nice uniform pieces. So while I was getting the kettle ready, Sassy went ahead and started marinating the chicken thighs. The three that got marinated with orange juice, we decided to use some Uncle Steve Shake competition bird cover. She went ahead and dusted those lightly on either side. She pulled even the skin back a little bit, got some little underneath, and then on the three that she had marinating in yogurt, she added a little bit more ranch and a little bit more of the garlic salt and even added two more seasonings, habanero sea salt and a little bit of parsley flakes to give it a little bit of uh, texture, I guess. Now, I've never done chicken thighs marinated in any kind of yogurt. I've definitely had curry that is yogurt based, but this isn't curry. So I was very curious to find out what it's like. So once that Weber was ready to go, we immediately put that chicken on there, bigger pieces closer to the offset fire, smaller pieces in the back, and I set it for right about 275 or so, occasionally going up to close to 300, but that's pretty much where it stayed. So I was looking for a temperature range anywhere above 145, and it seemed to uh, indicate that they were ready to go. So I actually cranked up the heat a little bit more to try to get the skin a little bit crisper, and then I pulled them off. So as you can see here, the Uncle Steve's Shake chicken thighs have that nice kind of mahogany color, kind of even texture on the skin. Skin kind of pulled back a little bit, but that's okay. But it was actually somewhat crispy, almost uh, to the point where it's easy to bite. Sometimes that skin's chewy and kind of rips off, but you know this Uncle Steve's Shake has black pepper, some honey powder, paprika, garlic and sugar and citric acid it's, just makes chicken just really pop. And the chicken thighs that had the Greek yogurt, they came out pretty interesting. You know, the skin has about the same amount of pullback. Um, I would say it has about the same amount of crispiness. A little bit lighter color, but I can't wait to bite into these. I think they've all got the same amount of smoke. And that cherry wood, as you can see, really makes a nice kind of glow to the chicken. It's really awesome. Okay, guys, the first one I'm going to go for is this Uncle Steve's Shake. And um, I'm just going to give it a nice little bite right here. Mmm. Right away, got some, some of that citrus taste. Just all around really good bite. Juicy all the way through. A little bit of smoke. Oh man, and just what I've come to expect from Uncle Steve's Shake. One of the best line of barbecue seasonings you can get. Mm. Okay, so now I'm going to try the one that was marinated with the yogurt mix. And uh, I'm going to take a bite in a similar area right there. Mmm. Mmm. You know, it might buy, you know, it might be my imagination, but it almost seems more tender. Um, and I'm not sure if those are the enzymes and the yogurt really making any difference. It's a little bit of a softer flavor. 
I could definitely taste a hint of that habanero sea salt on the top as I bite through, but really the uh, the meat on the inside is is not molested any, and it just has this nice smoky barbecue kind of taste. Mm. Gotta do a second bite. All right, guys. So Sassy's back from visiting her neighbors a couple doors down, so she didn't know I was eating already. Okay, so she's gonna try the Uncle Steve's first. Mm. All right, so what did you think of the Uncle Steve's shake? Oh, the Uncle Steve's, well, you know, we already love Uncle Steve's shake, but mm -hmm. that tangerine um, um, brine was, is delicious. I thought it was orange juice. It's tangerine juice. Oh, that's right, tangerine juice. <laughs> okay, so now try your tangerine juice. Yeah, it's like orange juice, right? Okay, I'll try my um, Thin Belly Ranch. So to me, it seemed mm. a, like a softer taste, and the meat mm. almost seemed a little bit more tender, and I think that's the yogurt, maybe. The yo Greek yogurt. Maybe the enzymes and the bacteria in the yogurt, which are good bacteria, probably, you know, started breaking down that meat a little bit. I don't know. I've, I've never, other than um, curry, you know, I've never had a yogurt type of marinade in, on any kind of meat and, and that I know of. That that's delicious. I like this. Okay. And uh, with that cherry wood and the barbecue whole thing, just really, add. now this one, you know, she had to put that together again and you can't buy that in a bottle or anything like that but you certainly could buy uncle steve's shake and as always we're going to leave links down in the description to all that stuff and go check it out and uh that's it guys so time to kick you out of our house goodbye sayonara <laughs>